Hi guys. Um, I had a request from a few of my viewers. Um, they wanted me to make my fast weight loss soup. I do have a video on it, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, where I talk about it, but I don't show you how to make it. Now I know sometimes you just like to watch somebody make something. I know I do when I watch those videos. So this is kind of, she, one of them in particular, you know, you gain those few um, holiday weight, uh, those pounds. I know I did. I gained six. Oh my God, to me that was a lot. I could not believe I gained six. Uh, it made my clothes a little bit tighter. Going to get rid of those immediately. So anyway, guys, um, it's a very simple soup. Uh, and it really, it's, it's to kind of cleanse your body. And um, because of what's in it, you just lose weight and you get to eat this anytime you want throughout the day and it makes you lose weight very quickly and uh, you can stick with it for I've, I've stuck with it for like two weeks that's all I ate was this for two weeks and then go in back into your healthy eating but you know depending on how much you want to lose if it's just a few pounds well do it for however many days but remember it's initially weight, uh, water weight loss and then it goes into the fat but anyway guys so what it is is it's just so simple you just kind of rough chop everything it's no big deal you know you just uh, this is celery you just chop it up like that just chop it all up and um, the thing about this soup is that it makes you feel full although uh, it's you know really low cal stuff and uh, you're not starving I don't believe in that. It's, it's, I think it's good to fast, um, like go one or two days to fast. I always do that. It makes me feel good. But when you're really, you know, trying to lose some weight, just kind of rough chop this stuff. Just like that, you know, kind of big chunks. Because once, remember, once these boil down, uh, you know, they're soft and they get smaller. So there's, this one is just about, I use four celery sticks. And I will put it into a pot of chicken broth. I make my own chicken broth when I, you know, when I need to boil chicken for a certain recipe or something. I always keep the broth and then I just freeze it. And then here's your, um, your bell peppers. You can put whatever color you like. It makes no difference. I put the whole thing. I put the seed. I put everything. I don't, you know, I don't put it. This knife is not sharp today. Hold on a minute, guys. <clears throat> this is not exactly a chopping knife, but it's a little bit sharper. Um, I'm going to have to go through and sharpen my knives. <laughs> so, anyway, once again, just, uh, you know, just rough chop because you want it to be kind of big so that you really feel like you're eating, you know, really, really chowing down when you do this. And uh, I'm telling you, it feels good, makes you, you feel a lot lighter. You know, your digestive system, um, it kind of takes a break from digesting heavy foods, meats, and lots of fats, and, you know, sugars, and stuff like that. So you just kind of rough chop like this, and just throw it in the pot of, um, oh, of chicken stock or you can use beef stock too whichever you know whichever you prefer it doesn't matter beef stock chicken stock it really doesn't matter but this is all I do I mean it's just not a difficult recipe and um, it makes you just um, <clears throat> lose <clears throat> excuse me you lose a lot of water weight right away uh, which is you know that's really important losing weight once you get that water weight gone um, it goes to the fat and of course this would be great for vegetarians I don't uh, I'm not a vegetarian by any means I love to eat meat so that will go in the pot too I'm using two red two green you can use yellow whichever kind these are just what happened to be in the store when I went so ooh, I will take that clump out um, <laughs> That one didn't look so good. So just kind of rough chop it up like this, as you see. Because like I say, <clears throat> when you're trying to lose weight, I don't I don't like to say diet because I really I eat very healthy. Um, my son, my youngest son, Nathan, he really got me into 
uh, eating healthy food. He started me with uh, Asian foods. And after that, I was just kind of addicted. So uh, I'm really into the health foods. So for me, this is just kind of actually normal food. You can uh, replace meals with this, like maybe say replace a dinner or a lunch instead. And I'm going to be doing two full onions. Um, onions are very good for you. And again, just kind of a rough chop type of thing like that. Throw that in the pot. Okay. There's one. Let me get another one. Scoot all this stuff aside here. I hope you guys are doing good. Um, hope you're not still stuffing your faces because I know how easy that is to do after the holidays. God, I went to my daughter's and... You know, I went there on Christmas Eve, spent the day there, and then we cooked our goodies, and oh my gosh, you you can't help it. You know, you just sort of <laughs> you just sort of keep chowing and chowing, and I enjoyed it. So I yeah, I may have gained a little weight, but I don't care. I enjoyed the holidays. I believe in enjoying them and worrying about the little bit of weight after. Okay, so there's another one chopped up. That goes into the pot of of uh, chicken stock whoops and here's some tomatoes to get those edges cut off and same with these just rough chop you know how you want so that you have um, you know like I said it's, it's important to have it bite size I mean chunky bite size so you really feel like you're eating something Hold on, guys. Okay, so tomato. Get this one done. And let's see. Chop, chop. That's it. It's just a basic chopping type of meal. Chop up meal, I'd say. <laughs> nice and big get all of that okay. sorry guys my doggies were acting kind of weird there okay so anyway back to this <laughs> Um, okay, get that chopped up into the pot. Let me give this a quick little stir here. Okay. I think that's enough tomato. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'll put another one. Yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and put another one. Okay, and don't beat yourself up if you gain some weight. Oh well, it's the holidays. That's just kind of the way it goes. Don't. Oh, there goes my phone. Too bad. Um. All right. Now, same goes for okay garlic. Okay, you always want to have a uh, little garlic in there. Pounce it. And then you just, you peel it up. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's the garlic. Uh, I'm going to do just two cloves since I'm making kind of a small uh, batch. At least to me it's a small one. So there's your two garlic. Uh, get that out over here. Okay. And just kind of, you know, rough, rough chop it. It's just mainly for flavor, and garlic is really good for you. So, the uh, sticky stuff there. Put that in there. And, okay. Should have had that boiling first, but I didn't. Oh, well. Then, 
I have some spinach. Let's see if I can get this. Love these plastic containers, don't you? Oh yeah, they're fantastic. <laughs> okay. Let's get that off of there. Okay. So, all right. Got a whole container of um, a fresh spinach. I love fresh spinach. I use it on everything. I mean, I use it in with eggs, with, oh, just everything I can think of, I throw spinach. So just throw a whole thing of spinach in there as well. I also like to throw in, you may not like this, but I do. <laughs> My son got me totally addicted to seaweed. Yeah, you heard me. Seaweed, okay? So, <laughs> um, I just rip it up, throw it in there. I love, love, love sushi and seaweed. I'm telling you, he got me so addicted to that stuff, it's not even funny. There was a point there, all I could do was eat Asian food. It was, it was terrible. <laughs> but anyway, okay. So I throw that in the pot. Hold on, guys. Hope you all are having fun with your family if you're staying with family. I hope you're still, you know, if you're still with them, I hope you're having a really good time. Okay. So that's all the ingredients. And then I season it with, you know, any kind of uh, soy sauce, I use one called tamari. So any kind of little soy sauce, put in just a little bit, okay? And I'm telling you, just a little bit here, I'll show you. Just enough to kind of season it. You don't want to make it all salty because salt is not good. And this, it looks like it's, you know, not enough water, but it will boil down. And then you just add... Like I have chicken stock in here. If it needs more fluids, I'll just go ahead and put some water. Uh, and I always use purified water. I never, never use tap water for anything. So there's a little shot there of what it looks like. Very colorful, very delicious. You season it just right with that soy sauce. Um, you don't put any uh, salt because salt helps you retain water. You don't want that when you're trying to lose weight. Um, you know, and pepper can be irritating to your t intestines, so you kind of try to keep it basic. So there you go, guys. Um, that will boil, and I'll, I'll add more water. There's obviously not enough in there. So, but it will boil down. And then you get to eat this anytime you want. Yeah, I mean, I eat this whenever I'm hungry. I serve it up, eat it, and you lose weight very, very quickly. So, guys, just wanted to give you a little, um, a little demonstration of that soup that I do have a video on and how it looks. As you can see, it's pretty yummy, especially if you love vegetables like I do. Oh, my God, I love vegetables. I eat, I will sit down and eat an entire bag of frozen vegetables or I will just eat, you know, straight out of the refrigerator, just wash them up and eat vegetables like crazy. I adore veggies. So, anyway, guys, there you go. Wanted to show that to you real quick. It's simple. It, once it's soft, everything softens. Don't let it, you know, don't boil it to where it's mush. Just to where everything softens a little bit. That way you feel like you're crunching and eating something. So, there you go, guys. We will talk to you later. Uh, I got to go get some stuff done today. I'm going to spend the day tomorrow with my grandkids and my daughter. We're going to get out and about. So I got to get stuff done today, get some sleep tonight. <laughs> so we shall see you all, and I hope you're having a great, great day. Talk to you later. Bye.